Hey there guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our first uh, wine vlog uh, of Diggy Cellar. Uh, my name is Diggy. This is my good buddy McGirt, AKA Dirt McGirt, Dirty McGirty, Mr. Dirt or Big Dog. Uh, normally we're gonna be doing price point differences uh, anywhere from 10 to $30 difference. But today we are going to see uh, if we can get uh, some good value and some good tastings out of two local BC wines uh, in the $20 range. Uh, we are uh, located in British Columbia. Uh, so the first two wines we're doing are two wines out of BC. The first one is a uh, Graymont 2021 Riesling and the second one is a Quailsgate Dry Riesling uh, 2020. So uh, here we go. And just so you know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are not the highfalutin, uh, hoity-toity wine I, I know nothing of wine, so. I love wine, I've been drinking wine for a while. I don't know lots about it. I know quite a bit from how much I've drank, and, or drank. Yeah, McGirt pretty look much at, knows nothing. Look at the cellar. So. <laughs> As you can see by his hairdo. So, uh, yeah, here we go. We're, we're gonna see if uh, we can get uh, at least one of these two bottles. Uh, up to 3.8 diggy stars and uh, is, is that a scale of five or ten? sorry it's a scale of five okay. so scale of five diggy stars uh first one here we go do a little swirl on sniff, the table swirl yeah what are you getting out of that wine Yes. <laughs> I get a little bit of apple. Uh, Almost like a sweet citrus, like a tangerine. Obviously a stone fruit. You getting any of that, McGurn? You just... Uh, I, I, I might not have a, a mature palate. A little bit of light oak. Hmm. Hint of floral. Can any flowers see. in there? Maybe daisies? <laughs> no? Tulips? All right. So here we go. First impressions. Now that I've tasted it, I get that hint of citrus. It's good. Yeah. What about apple? Let's say something more tart. Definitely apple in there. Which color apple would you pick? Green. Wrong. It's yellow. <laughs> yellow. Yeah, yellow apple. Green is really tart. I'm getting like a tiny bit of tartness. Oh, so this is it's almost medium like a, tart. It's almost like a young yellow apple that has a tiny bit of tartness to it. I can't say they've had a yellow apple before. Tastes like wine. What about juicy fruit? Juicy fruit? The like gum. the gum. Get yourself set up. Grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move ya. I am. Hmm. I'd say this wrong. Problem. That was a trick question. It does not taste like juicy fruit. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit of peach. Mm, yeah, maybe actually. Now that you say it, I, I am a very susceptible person in that regard. Any herbs? the herbs I'm hoping for. Mm. <laughs> All right. Mm. It's good. Goes down smooth. What do you think of the finish? It's nice. It's not uh, it's not a lingering finish, but you get a nice little flavor there. Sweet. You know. Too sweet? Being a beer and bourbon drinker. Uh, no, I wouldn't say too sweet at all. And I guess when I do order wine, I ask for the driest white they have. So... I, I like that. I don't know if that falls within the the category, but I'd say good. it's medium dry. It's a little bit sweet, but definitely okay. you can you can taste well, it. It's, it's definitely not overpowering, which is nice. Oh, I forgot to mention. Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, these guys are from uh, Lake Country, BC, where we're from. Um, these guys? Yeah. Okay. Hope so. Yeah, Graymont. They're uh, from Lake Country, BC. Uh, yeah, I think it's. 20 bucks. Can't go wrong. 
screw top in the old days, McGirt, equaled poo tops. You know why? Because screw tops equaled shite. Mm. But uh, new technology, I guess, or whatever they've done in the last 10, 15 years. The world has changed. The world has changed. What know. would you think you'd want to pair that with if you're having dinner? You can obviously drink this alone, but... Uh, like usual? <laughs> I mean, without food. Oh, no. yes. I know you drink alone, but... Uh, <laughs> nice. It is... Uh, it's a great wine. For 20 bucks, I'd give that 3.8 Diggy Stars. 3.8? 3.8, yes. Okay. There you have it, guys and gals. In our first tasting, let's uh, whip right into the Quailsgate Dry Riesling 2020. All right. So these guys are out of? Uh, these guys are in uh, West Kelowna. Uh-oh. That dang screw top? Damn you, screw top! Ooh, that's a big one. Really? Nothing. So, stated dry Riesling. Dry Riesling. So this should be a little bit less sweet, or quite a bit less sweet, because uh, dry usually equals uh, less uh, sugar residual, usually which comes from the skins or the seeds. And like skins I said, these of guys- the seeds or the grapes? What did I say? Skins of the seeds. Skins and the seeds. Skins and the seeds. Uh, I thought oh, you said, okay. You thought I said the skins of the seeds. That, that got- a That'd be like a piece PG of thirteen there for a second. So remember, sniff, swirl, sniff. That swirly swirl should be at least oh what five to seven. What'd you do? Perfect. There you go. Okay. Wow, that's really different. Much more muted. What are you picking up on the bouquet there? A bit of earthy tones. I could barely pick up what was in there, so. This being far more subtle, I'm having a hard time. I got like a little bit of lemon curd. I, I was almost ready to agree with your citrus profile there because after you swallow. Okay, let's not, no, talk, no about the, let's not talk about swallowing. Let's talk about. Uh, you you get about that kind of lemon tart aftertaste. Okay, dude, we're so, still on the bouquet. Talking about how what, what you what you get out of the smell and your nose. <laughs> Green apple. Ah, it is good, dude. What are you doing? Well, we're taste testing, right? Yeah, I didn't. Even, I mean, <laughs> most of them. <laughs> okay, buddy, take your time. Breathe. What do you taste on the palate there? Is it pineapple? No. Well, maybe a very... It's hard to extract the flavor of pineapple without major sweetness. Yeah, a hint of pineapple you'd say? Maybe. I'm still getting a lot of that citrus uh, yeah. finish, whatever you would call it. But I think it's a little bit tart. Mm. Definitely. That's for that, yeah. What about, what about some... Um... I heard that's supposed to help. Is that like your own personal aeration technique? I think so, yeah. I love to cook, but I, I just... I think my uh, palate has been muted. Or maybe it has been unleashed. Maybe I haven't been taught. Dude, you haven't been taught. There's lots you need to know. Which oh. is why we're here. <laughs> yeah. For a long time. Uh oh. Do you think it's a standalone wine like the last one, or would you need to pair it with something? I think because of the tart, I would be looking for a little snack to go with it. Maybe a little bit because of Because after I've had well, a glass and a few sips, um, yeah, you want to eliminate that kind of puckered tart flavor out of your mouth. Mm. Diggy Stars, what would you think you'd give it? Preferred that, which surprises me because, like I said, I, I tend to order dry whites. This is obviously more dry, but let's see, like a three and a, three and a half? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I could... You think it's a good bang for your buck for 20 bucks though? For sure. 
but you know, I'd have to be eating. What's the most expensive one you drank? Probably something you gave me. Which was so very much. Just straight up wine? Yeah. Yeah, you hide all the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. We're done. Excellent. Okay, well, you so know what? what let's what's just... the diggy stars on that one? Diggy stars? Let's just do one last little <laughs> miniature one. Look how small that was. Uh, I'd give that one 3.8.4. So more than that. Yeah, I don't, it's less sweet. I don't know if we got my Chardonnay guy. Okay. Maybe like pad thai or something to pair with it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Really good. Um, on a more serious note, I'd like to big shout out to my buddy who made this all happen to me, Mr. Brad Farrell from EcoDwell. Uh, built my home, which obviously included my cellar, and without him and his lovely wife, Robin, from Royal Page, uh, we wouldn't be in this nice little predicament right now of predicament. No. Yeah, I wouldn't call this a predicament. No, it's definitely a predicament. Anyways, yeah, um, Brad, Brad is his name because he does build uh, badass homes. B Rad. B Rad. Uh, builds badass. He homes. builds badass homes. <laughs> if he was uh, a piece of lamb, he'd be like, Brad, Brad. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Brad and Robin, for uh, making my dreams come true. So, feeling like we've <laughs> had quite a few blunders already. Uh, we are big acronymers. Is that a word? Acronym? We love acronyms. So our first acronym, because we're going to throw in at least maybe one every couple episodes, is BOB. B-W-O-B. BOB. Which stands for Bear With Our Blenders. That's right. BOB. Say it with me. Bear. BOB. <laughs> All right. There you have it. We are done for the first one. We'd like you to, uh, uh, what is it? What did you hear now? I can't remember. The standard YouTube fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Smash, if Hulk can smash, you can smash. Smash that like button. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the flip side because, uh, well. We want to drink one. Exactly. <laughs>